Hey guys, Blue Commander here and welcome back to another video. About a month ago I shared a preview of my Bonsai Pots data pack and you guys seem to absolutely love it, so I'm here today to release it. Before I get raging people in the comments screaming that this isn't actually my original idea, I want to emphasise that I did not create this idea. This is a recreation of an existing mod, but in a data pack and resource pack form. If you don't know what a data pack is, or you don't know how to install them, then I recommend waiting till the end of the video as I'll be doing the installation then. I've remade this mod as not everyone actually likes downloading mods, and also that the mod is updated to 1.12, whereas this will work for 1.13 upwards. So as you can see right now, I'm in the Minecraft 1.15 version. Also in a poll I did a couple of months back, I feel like it was quite a while ago now, but everyone said they really wanted to see vanilla mod recreations. So let me know in the comments what other mods you'd like me to recreate, and without further ado, let's hop into the data pack. First of all, bonsai pots are small micro farms that allow you to create automatic wood farms. And you craft one using 5 clay and a bone meal like so. Then you just right click to place it down. Once it's down, you're going to have to put some soil on it. You can either add dirt, grass or endstone by just placing the block on top of it. Make sure you aren't standing on top of the block though, as then you won't be able to actually place it down. We'll come back to the end stone, but for now let's talk about grass and dirt. Just drop any sapling onto it and it'll start growing a mini tree. The trees will slowly get bigger and bigger until it caps out and drops a log, and sometimes a sapling or apple too. But what's different about using dirt and grass you ask? Well, dirt takes one minute to grow, whereas bonsai pots only take 30 seconds. Furthermore, saplings only need to be placed once and they'll continuously grow inside the pot. If you want to change the sapling growing, then you're going to have to break the pot and then replace it. These pots aren't good on their own, but by placing a lot of them, you can very quickly get a lot of good resources, without having to destroy a forest. Save the trees. To help automate this process, you can place a hopper onto the bonsai pot, and the pot will start placing its wood into the hopper. Finally, as many of you might have guessed, if you're a super smart gamer like me, the endstone can grow chorus plants. These can take up to two minutes though, so it is rather slow. That's all the features I wanted to show you, so let's get into how to install it in your own world. First of all, you want to go into the description of this video, and you'll see a link to my website. On my website, you want to download both the resource pack and the data pack by clicking both of these buttons. Then, you can label the resource pack by going into your game, open the resource pack folder like so, and drag the resource pack into the folder. You then need to close the menu and reopen it, and the resource pack should show up. If your bonsai pots just look like firework rockets, then it'll be because you haven't successfully downloaded the resource pack. Now, to install the data pack in your world, you're going to have to open the worlds folder like so, open the data packs folder inside that folder, and then drag your download into here. You can then reopen your world by typing slash reload, and you can get started. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, a like would mean so much to me, as it tells YouTube you want to see this more, and it's going to recommend it to more people. Also consider subscribing. Not a large percentage of you guys are, and it really makes my day to see a new subscriber. It takes two seconds, and you can always change your mind afterwards. Anyway, hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!